Hey everyone, this is Peter with Carace.net, and in this video we are going to be testing Samsung's new GPS Restore application. Um, on the left you can see a Samsung Epic running Android 2.1 from Sprint. In the middle is an AT&T Captivate running the leaked Froyo Build 2.2 of Android. Um, and that's the Samsung Captivate again, and on the right is the new Verizon Continuum running Android 2.1 as well. So first we're going to do a GPS test prior to installing the new Restore app and then we're going to install the Restore app and then run the GPS test afterwards. So let's jump in. I'll try and click all of them as even as I can and we'll see how fast they lock on. Again, it's a very rainy day here in Seattle. Um, really low cloud cover, just pouring everywhere. So I try to get as far away from the building as I can, which is about 15 feet right now. Um, but again, it's not the most desirable of conditions to do this test, but we're gonna do it anyways, just to show you guys what it's like and uh, what the app supposedly does. So as you can see, the Epic and the Continuum are getting the best coverage right now with the Continuum having an accuracy of 10 feet while the Epic's at 100 feet, and again, the Continuum has six satellites in view, whereas the Epic only has four. The Captivate is in third place with two satellites at the moment. Oh, getting up there, there we go. Okay, and now it is hopefully gonna get down in accuracy, so now the accuracy is down 82 feet with four satellites in view. Again, we're close to building. It's not the best weather conditions, but this is all we got for now. So, we're gonna have these two, oh, down to 50 feet. So we're gonna have these two GPS apps run on the side while we install the new application from Samsung. So let's go into the market. It should be, oh, let me do the password real fast. Why didn't you save the Once we sign in, all we have to do is search for Samsung GPS Restore which I just did, so hopefully it's in our history here. There we go, GPS Samsung Restore. Again, this is only available for Captivate and Froyo phone, or sorry, Captivate and Vibrant phones at the moment. So there it is from Samsung Mobile, the GPS Restore app. So click on that, we'll do install, pretty small and basic. Let's keep these guys running on the side so you can see what that is like. And again, let's go in and read it real fast while that's installing. So it just says that it restores the GPS config files, again, for the Captivate from AT&T or the Vibrant from T-Mobile. If they have been accidentally modified by different test modes or different applications that you've installed. Again, it will restore the config values when all other running applications using GPS are stopped before launching starting GPS Restore. Okay, so let's open this and let's get this guy back up. So I'm trying to do as many things as I possibly can so you guys can get the best test possible. So again, the app basically does this. It, it goes to, let me zoom in here for you too so you can kind of see that. So it talks about settings being restored, getting a location, the GPS started, a position fix. It's still requiring, again, not the best test conditions, but we'll make do with what we've got. As you can see, the Epic is still at about, staying at a pretty decent 100 feet accuracy, not really fluctuating much. Whereas the Continuum is staying right around 10 to 20. Sorry, I'll zoom out so you can see that. Right around 10 to 20 feet on the right hand side. So it would seem that Samsung did update, did update excuse me, their GPS, either chip or software in the new Continuum. And as we can see with the Captivate, we're getting a position fix fail. So let's see if we can get that in our sights. Come on. Oh, there we go. So again, um, the app says completed. Now let's go back in. Let's restart each of these. Again, I'll try and do this as close together as possible. Let's see. Oh, 
Um, so as you can see, the continuum is right on par. The Epic is still ranging around 100 feet, but it seems like, in this case, the Captivate did um, capture the signal a little bit faster. It is going down to that accuracy of 50 feet faster than it did before, and now it is up to a six satellites, or I believe before it was only five or four. Um, but I'll put notes in the video to correct that if that wasn't the case. So again, as you can see, the fix does seem to get a little bit faster after running it on this device. Um, we did not run the LBS test mode, so this is just with basic GPS settings with nothing ever modified. So technically, the app should do nothing if we've never modified it by restoring the default settings since those should already be in play. But again, the app is supposedly supposed to reset settings and get you a little bit more accurate on your Captivate or Vibrant devices. If you'd like to see another test, let us know and check out our YouTube channel, Carysnet, or go to carys.net for the full article. Thanks for watching and look forward to some new videos coming later this week.